Welcome to our lecture online. Now that we understand partial pressure and vapor pressure, let's go take a look at what relative humidity is. Because on the weather report, you might sometimes hear about relative humidity, and let's find out what it is. But just to make sure we understand partial pressure and vapor pressure, let's go and review it again. Remember, the vapor pressure, that is the pressure attributed to the water vapor when there's an equilibrium between the vaporization of water and the condensation of water. And that is the maximum amount of as a percentage or a max amount of pressure the water vapor can have in the atmosphere at a particular temperature. The partial pressure is the actual pressure of the water vapor in the atmosphere which could be less than the vapor pressure because it doesn't have to be fully saturated, it could have less. And it turns out the definition of relative humidity is simply the ratio, where do I have it right here? It's simply the ratio of the partial pressure divided by the vapor pressure. And usually we express it in percent. So let's say if the vapor pressure is, for example, 100 millimeters of mercury, that would be the maximum pressure that the water vapor can have in the atmosphere at a particular temperature, and the partial pressure is only 50 millimeters, 50 divided by 100, that's only half, that's 50%. So that's the idea. It's what is the amount of pressure attributed to water vapor divided by how much it could have if it was fully saturated. So uh, let's... For example, let's say that the partial pressure is 14 millimeters of mercury at 20 degrees centigrade. Now let's go take a look at the table here. At 20 degrees centigrade, when the air is fully saturated water, it would have a, par it would have a vapor pressure of 17.54 millimeters of mercury. So it only has 14 millimeters of mercury. It could have as much as 17.54 millimeters. So it's not quite saturated yet. So therefore, the relative humidity by definition, which is equal to the partial pressure divided by the vapor pressure. The partial pressure is what we measure, 14 millimeters of mercury divided by the vapor pressure, which is the maximum pressure the water vapor can be at 20 degrees centigrade, which is 17.54 millimeters of mercury. Let's see here, 14 divided by 17.54 equals 79.8, uh, let's round it off to 80%. So there we could say that the relative humidity is 80%. That means the amount of moisture in the air, the amount of water vapor in the air, is 80% of what the air can hold at the temperature of 20 degrees centigrade. Now the second example, let's say that they, they report that the relative humidity is 60% at 20 degrees centigrade. What is the actual partial pressure of the water vapor in the air? And so we can then take that equation Solve it for partial pressure. So partial pressure is equal to the relative humidity multiplied times the vapor pressure. Remember, vapor pressure is the maximum pressure you can have attributed to the water vapor in the atmosphere at that particular temperature. So this would be equal to 60% times the vapor pressure at 20 degrees centigrade is 17.54 millimeters of mercury. So we have to then take the 17.54 and multiply times 0.6 equals, and we get about 10.5. So that would be about 10.5 millimeters of mercury. All right. I think this also helps understand the difference between partial pressure and vapor pressure. Remember, partial pressure is the actual measured pressure of the water vapor in the air. And the vapor pressure is that partial pressure that's measured when the air is fully saturated, when there's as much water vapor in the atmosphere as possible at that particular temperature. And again, at that particular, when that vapor pressure, that means that there's an equilibrium between the water evaporating into the atmosphere and the water con condensing back uh, to water, the water vapor condensing back to water. So that's the difference. And this hopefully exemplifies it and makes it easier to understand.